All right, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing time so far. Our next speaker is Darius Bunandar. He is a founder and chief scientist at Light Matter. Please join me in welcoming Darius to our virtual stage. All right, thank you so much for the intro. I'm really excited to be here. We're Light Matter, the photonic supercomputing company. We're creating the next generation computer and communication platform. So here's the team. Light Matter was founded by three of us out of MIT in 2017. Here's the leadership team today. As a team, Light Matter consists of 75 employees. In terms of experience, members of our team have tipped out more than 100 different computer chips before. Many of them have also delivered important software products at Google, Microsoft, Intel, AMD, and MathWorks. We're also supported by a good group of investors. Um, this, these include GV, Spark Capital, Viking Global Investors, Matrix Partners, and HPE. We recently closed $80 million Series B in funding um, that was led by Viking Global, and we've raised a total of $113 million thus far. Lamar is funded to solve some of the fundamental challenges of computing. As we're entering the age of artificial intelligence or AI, solving the bottlenecks of AI compute has become increasingly more important. AI today powers some of the most important applications of computing today. And these include voice recognition, autonomous driving, and even web search. As useful as AI is, the amount of computing power required to train and serve AI models are growing at an exponentially um, increasing rate throughout the years. And this plot made by OpenAI shows just that. AI model builders have been making the algorithm smarter by either increasing the size of the model or by increasing the data the amount of data required to train them. In the modern era, um, 2012 and today, the compute requirement is actually doubling every three or four months, and that's crazy. The growth in the required compute is at a scale that traditional electronics cannot catch up with. Computers today have div diverted from the path of Moore's law, which had promised that computers would be twice faster or twice more performant every two years. Remember back then, in the 90s or in the early 2000s, how our desktop PCs turn obsolete every two or three years. That is a phenomenon uh, that is reserved by more. Uh, but today, computers, perform uh, computers performance have stayed relatively constant um, for the past 10 years. And the current solution for this growing AI, com AI computer requirement is to build larger and larger data centers. And the question is, do we really need to cover our whole planet in data centers just to keep up with the pace of AI innovation? Fortunately, the answer is no. We at LightMatter has found a solution to this problem by delivering a new kind of computer. Meet and Vice, the first computer chip of its kind. It combines both photonics and electronics within a single compact package. On the right here, and Vice is made out of two different kinds of chips. The first one is a 12 nanometer electronic ASIC, which houses the logical unit and the, and the memory unit. The second one is a 90 nanometer photonic IC, which has the photonic tensor processing form. We use this to compute with light. The ASIC and the PICs are stacked on top of each other with an interposer in between them. Notice that there are optical fiber ribbons. This is very unusual. These optical fiber ribbons are used to supply the lasers that power the photonic processors. What is dif different about NVICE is that it computes with both electronic and light. NVICE achieves the vision of engineers and scientists from the 90s who have built the first optical process processor prototype. Light has been considered to be the holy grail of computing because it solves the fundamental heat problem of traditional transistor electronics. Light, unlike electrical signals, can travel without much loss and without burning too much energy. And light fundamentally oscillates at frequencies that are hundreds of terahertz. These are 100,000 to a million times faster than electronic clock frequencies. This means light can operate at higher clock frequencies. We'll be releasing Envice to select customers next year. Envice will be released in a 4U blade, blade form factor. Each 4U blade will have 16 light matter Envice chips, two laser modules, and two AMD host processors. This means a single rack of computer servers can house a total of nine Envice blades. And the system will enable state-of-the-art AI at un unprecedented speed and power efficiency. And VICE is built to enable state-of-the-art general purpose AI, will enable natural language processing models or NLP models, and that includes machine translation and conversational AI. 
will also enable vision use cases such as Im image recognition and segmentation. And these are very important applications that are used in things like autonomous driving. Another important model that will enable is the recommendation engine, which includes models like Facebook DLRM, which are very useful for serving ads commercially. Here's a comparison of how the advisor regulates stacks against state-of-the-art electronic AI accelerators. At the same power consumption, Envice provides four times higher throughput and six times higher power, power efficiency than the NVIDIA DGX A100 when running BirdBase with the squat data set. BirdBase is an important natural language processing model that is capable of performing human-like speech and language-related tasks. Envice will be supported by the EDM software stack. EDM will enable AI experts to build their model in one of the commonly used frameworks, PyTorch, TensorFlow, or Onyx. EDM will also enable them to deploy their model in a production environment using Envice. For the expert users, EDM will also include a debugger and profiler to find and fix any bug or bottleneck. So one more thing, we have also invented a new way to interconnect computers with one another. We understand that scaling out the systems is a very important problem for us to solve. Meet Passage. Passage is the world's first photonic interconnect fabric. It is a wafer scale interconnect platform. Up to 50 computer chips of different kind can be placed on top of Passage. Passage acts as an interconnect, allowing these chips to communicate with each other using photonic signals. These signals are transported across Passage by photonic waveguides. These waveguides are 40 times smaller than a standard optical fiber. Here's a short video that can explain how Passage works. <laughs> for your attention. Wow, thank you so much, Darius. If you could stop sharing your screen, I know this virtual audience wants to give you a huge virtual round of applause. Thank you so thank much you. for sharing with us today. That was awesome. <laughs> for the audience, it's time for you to make your way to your next session. Along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and take some time to check out our amazing exhibits. Thanks so much and we'll see you around.